water, it's found everywhere on earth, from polar ice caps and vast oceans to the mighty rivers and tiny streams that feed them. Every living thing upon the earth depends on clean water, and wherever water flows on this planet, you can be sure to find life. The Urban Waters Federal Partnership Program reconnects communities to their urban rivers and creeks by coordinating federal agencies and community-led efforts to revitalize and improve the health of our rivers, creeks, and streams. Kansas City is one of 19 sites in the United States designated an urban waters location, and they are working to restore and protect the Blue River. From the headwaters near the Missouri-Kansas state line to its confluence with the Missouri River, the Blue River meanders north through Kansas City for more than 40 miles. For decades, the river and surrounding neighborhoods have suffered from frequent and serious flooding, degraded water quality, loss of habitat from channelization, economic disinvestment, blight, and lack of public awareness. Yet, the area is rich with culture, beauty, recreation, and offers potential for a resilient and healthy future. The Blue River Urban Waters Partners work together throughout the Blue River Watershed. Partners at all levels are making a difference. They are engaging communities and connecting all people to the river. Recognizing that the river serves a diverse community. Federal partners, state partners, and local partners are connecting communities along Blue River Parkway and at Jerry Smith Park. The Blue River is a community asset in Kansas City where anyone can go to enjoy, recreate, and relax. It's also habitat to fish, plants, and wildlife. So for me, what I feel like a child or a person gets when they go out into a place in nature is they get a connection to themselves and they get a connection to a sense of spirit. In a few minutes, Kansas City Wildlands will be doing tree planting to make sure that we have a healthy ecosystem for plants and animals to exist in along the river. That's why we're doing the cleanup. It's right now Americans are way too in sight. And there's been study upon study about just being around green and nature. Uh, it helps people with depression. It helps people feel better about themselves. It helps pe students learn better. And people in America aren't getting enough of that green. I got involved with this a little bit through working with the um, Blue River Parkway tra mountain bike trails that I helped with through Urban Riders <laughs> Urban Trail Company. But it's just one of those little gems, one of those little you know hidden treasures in the city that a lot of people don't know about. And I am so grateful for it its existence. It allows me to get reconnected to what's important to me, um, you know, kind of back to the earth. You know, it's a beautiful area. The, um, the Blue River Parkway is, is actually kind of phenomenal for being in an urban area to have such a gorgeous, you know, place where you can like drive right in the middle of the city and think you're, you know, out in the middle of the country somewhere. So it's beautiful. And, you know, we got mountain bike trails and other recreational and you can, and it's, a, it's an experiential thing. It's not something you could tell somebody about and they would get it. Various scouting groups, various church groups, organizations, all are taking the time off. Uh, City of Kansas City has a huge group of volunteers that's coming, that's come in today. All of them have said, hey, this is something that represents the values of our organization and we want to see that those values are embodied in the work that we're doing today. When we engage with nature to revitalize our environment, we also revitalize ourselves. We need your help. Join the many organizations and volunteers working to create trails, restore native natural areas, and revitalize the Kansas City neighborhoods. This is where we work where we play, where we live. Act now. This is so important.